Hello everybody, this is Joshua with Urban Defense Institute, and as I got to work today, it occurred to me, you know, there are some people who have uh, jobs that allow them good exercise throughout the day, construction jobs, production jobs, uh, things like that where they get to spend a lot of time on their feet, uh, they get to spend a lot of time moving, maybe lifting, things like that. Now these people need other forms of exercise as well to target different parts of the body, uh, to target their cardiovascular system and build stamina and things like that. But there are some people who work an office job, spend a lot of time just sitting all day long. This is a, a, a tough uh, a tough job to be in to maintain some kind of healthy uh, lifestyle. Uh, so I got to thinking as part of our health defense series that maybe I'd talk, give, give some tips on how to at least get a little bit of exercise throughout the day when you work this type of job. Well, or And also maintain a healthy healthy life uh, when, when working a sit-down job. Uh, one of the first things I'd like to discuss is lunch. A lot of people will go to lunch every day uh, with their friends and that kind of thing. I personally recommend bringing your lunch. You can bring a healthy lunch and you definitely would want to bring some greens with you. Uh, and in Europe, they eat their greens after the meal because greens promote your metabolism. They get your metabolism working. They help you to digest and process the foods that you've just eaten. Another thing that I recommend, eat smaller meals throughout the day. Instead of one big meal at lunch, eat a little snack here, a little snack there, maybe a moderate lunch, and then a couple other little snacks throughout the day. This will promote your body's metabolism. It will keep your body metabolizing that food and using it. Whereas one big meal will just kind of sit there and then your body sees that as a surplus. And what does your body do with surplus? It stores it. The way body stores surplus is fat. Uh, so what you want to do is make sure that you keep the metabolism working, keep things running, and keep your body processing and burning that food. Another good uh, tip that I can give you is make sure that, I mean, email is a great thing, you know, and, and we all use it, we all need it. But when you're in an office environment and you basically just need to ask a question to somebody, instead of emailing it, you know, get up, walk over to their desk, talk with them. This is going to do a couple things for you. One, this is going to promote great inter-office inter relationships, which also isn't bad when the ax has to fall and cuts need, cuts are coming down in your company, right? Because then people are like, hey, I like that guy. Don't get, the, don't, don't get rid of that guy, right? Uh, they remember your face. But it also gives you an opportunity to exercise. You know, you're getting up, you're walking over there. Sure, it's not a lot, but you know what? It's a lot better than nothing. Uh, sometimes when you work in a, a job, like an office job or a sit-down job, you got to take what you can get. Sometimes you have to make your own little things. So oftentimes, I'll get up and just walk around just to walk around. You know, uh, some people like to get up and walk around their building a few times, maybe at lunch or whatever, just to get a little bit of a walk-in. It never hurts, right? Another great tip is... Make sure you park a distance away from the building. I like to give myself like a block or so. It gives me a nice walk in the morning, nice walk in the afternoon. Sometimes if I, if I need to run out for lunch to go take care of some, some chores or whatever, it gives me that extra little walk there. You know, every little bit helps. And if you can get a, a few block walk in a day, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. You can see I've got a pretty good distance to walk. Every little bit counts. Another tip I'd like to share, and I kind of hesitate with this one, just because of the safety risks and safety implications, is taking the stairs instead of an elevator. Uh, obviously, stairs are a great form of exercise. You're doing the steps. You're, you know, depending on how long you're walking, you're, you're improving your cardiovascular system. However, Especially, especially for you ladies. Stairs can be a very dangerous place, a uh, great place to be abducted. As you'll notice as I'm walking up these stairs, there's no windows, and quite a few of these doors require some kind of key to get in. So, stairs can be a great place to get abducted. I recommend if you're going to do stairs, maybe get like a, a group of you, a little stair club that uh, you meet at work the same time every day, walk up the stairs, try and leave together at the same time every day, and walk down them. Uh, obviously safety in numbers is the ticket, right? Well, 
I'm sure you don't want to climb six flights of stairs with me. So I guess as we're all saying goodbye, keep it real, stay safe.